Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to show you a real hidden gem of card magic. This one comes out of the precursor periodicals or the magazines. And in fact, this one comes out of volume 12 and it's called Sham Nemosin. Kind of a weird name. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but it's by Al Thatcher and it's almost self-working and it's a brilliant card uh, trick. I'd like to show you more hidden gems in the future, and in fact, I get a lot of joy out of uh, digging through old books and uh, searching for hidden gems. It's almost like an addiction. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so in this effect, the participant uh, takes the deck, and you ask them to name a number between, say, one and 10. All right, so when they do, uh, you ask them to look at the card at that number. So they take the deck, they go one, two, three, four, five, and six, take a look at that card, and they just put the rest of the cards back on top, keeping that card exactly where it is. All right, so now you ask them while your back is turned uh, to give the deck a few cuts like this, just to make sure that their card is nice and lost in the deck. All right, so now, you turn back around. By the way, did you shuffle the deck? Uh, you didn't. Uh, give it a few cuts and uh, maybe like this. And we can give it uh, one quick shuffle just to make sure that uh, the card is lost in the deck. Uh, and nobody can find it, uh, even if they tried. <laughs> All right, so the deck is nice and mixed up. But I will try. I'll try for you today. All right, so now what I'll do is I'll attempt to memorize the entire deck of cards in two seconds. That's one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Is that your card? No, that would've been good, but that's not your card. Oh well. All right, so watch. I think, I think I've got the whole deck memorized. For the first time, what is the number that you are just thinking of? Six. So if my memory serves me correctly, I think the sixth card down in this case, after all those shuffles, will be a red card, uh, maybe it was the two, no, it was the three of hearts at number six after those shuffles. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's the three uh, of hearts. Now, that wasn't your card, was it? No, because the deck was shuffled, and so after your card was moved around after that sixth position, it's now somewhere else. So, for the first time, name your card out that you're just thinking of. The queen of spades? So, all right, so now I have to really memorize or remember where that Queen of Spades was when I memorized the deck just now. I think uh, I think it might be in this case at 25, no, 22 down the deck. 22 is your card, the Queen of Spades. All right, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Your card, the queen of spades. All right, so how this is done, there is a little bit, a tiny little setup on the bottom of the deck. And you can easily just get in this little setup uh, between tricks, just uh, spreading the deck and playing around with the deck while nobody's really paying attention. Or just have it set up already, and this will be your uh, trick that you do. All right, so the setup is you want to have uh, a numerical order. In this case, I have an ace, two, three, four, five of hearts in a row with the five on the face like this. And that's under that's on the bottom of the deck. But what you want to have first is a card that's a breather crimp, all right? In this case, it doesn't matter what the card is. Just put a breather crimp in it like this. Put that on the bottom. Then put this little setup on the bottom there just like this. Now you can obviously do uh, false cuts uh, like this to give the illusion of a mixed up deck uh, like this. Whatever you want to do just to make sure uh, that that setup stays there on the bottom of the deck. Now, uh, what you want to do is ask the person to name a number or think of a number between 1 and 10. All right, so uh, when they do that, give them the deck and ask them to count the cards to their number and look at the card of that number, but leave it exactly where it is in the deck. That's very important. In our example, we did six, so we'll just do six again, all right? So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, and that's the sixth card, which is the 10 of clubs in this case. All right, I'll just leave it face up so we can follow it along. All right, so that's at number six. Now you have them cut the deck a few times like this, and because of that crimp and that setup, uh, it doesn't matter how much they cut because you can always cut back to that crimp uh, when you turn back around, all right? So you're turning back around, you're turning around the whole time this is happening, so you don't know their number or their card at this point, all right? But when you do turn around, you want to cut that breather crimp 
to the bottom of the deck in the action of just saying, look, you cut the deck a few times, you shuffled, oh wait, did you shuffle? And they say no, because you didn't ask them to shuffle. So uh, this is where you start your Pharaoh shuffle. And you say, okay, okay, I'll just give it a quick shuffle just so your card is really mixed up in the deck, all right? So before you start that shuffle though, you wanna make sure that that breather crimp is on the bottom of the deck because now on top of the deck will be your little setup here, ace through five. And under this ace through five, uh, whatever number they named uh, will be their card. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six there, okay? So that's your position before the pharaoh shuffle. The only thing you wanna make sure of in this pharaoh shuffle is that uh, that the top 15 cards in both halves interlace perfectly. So you don't even have to cut it 26 and 26. It can be something like this, all right? So the cut can be off uh, just as long as the top card stays in place and the top at least 15 cards of both halves are interlaced perfectly, all right? So it's a, called an out pharaoh shuffle. Notice how the top card stays in place and uh, the shuffle is made. And you can do this, say you can, you can see it's a real shuffle, blah, blah, blah. Have them push them in like this, uh, just like so. And then it looks like you just shuffled the deck and there's really no way you can find the car uh, card in this at this point. So now at this point, you ask them to tell you the number they're just thinking of and they'll, in this case they'll say six and so what you do depending on what they say if it's odd or even this is what you do for this pseudo memorization uh segment in the trigger right so you spread the deck and act like you memorize the whole deck act like you're doing this memorizing the whole deck sort of thing and so if they give you an odd number, you say, look, is this, you take, just take the bottom card and you say, look, is this your card? They say no and just put it right back where it is. That's only if it's odd and then you scoop up the deck. But if they say an even number, you say, look, I'm memorizing the deck, blah, blah, blah. And you say, well, by the way, was this your card? They say no. And then if it's even, you take this card, the bottom card, use it to scoop up the deck like this, thus adding one card to the top. That's if their card number was even. So now what you do to, apparently tell them the card that's at number six, what you do is you take their number and divide it by two. In this case, they named six. So you just divide it by two, giving you three. And that tells you that because of your setup, that will be the three of hearts. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and that'll be the three of hearts. So what if they give you an odd number? Well, you know that for odd numbers, that card stays on the bottom of the deck. And so in this case, if they give you an odd number, say seven, what you do is you add one to it and then it'll give you eight, all right? So if they give you an odd number, you always add one to it and then in this case, it'll, it'll be eight. And now you just divide that new number uh, by two and that'll give you four, all right? So their number is seven and then that'll give you the four of hearts because you divide eight by two, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, that'll be the four of hearts. So you do your thing, they give you number six. So yeah, yeah, I think uh, I think it was a red card at number six after all those shuffles. I think it was a low heart card. Uh, yeah, I think it was the three of hearts. Let's check. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, the three of hearts. So that's your first sort of miracle that happens. So after this, you just put all these cards back on top of the deck and you're ready for the next phase. So to know the number about where their card is, it's very, very simple. All you do is take their number and add five to it. You add five every time because of the five card setup. So you just add five and whatever number they named in this case, six uh, together, and that'll give you 11. Now you take this number and just double it. In this case, it'll give you 22. So that tells you that their card now is at number 22. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22. All right, so for odd numbers, it's the same thing, although in this case, you again, you always add five, and so five plus seven would be 12, and again, you double it as before, in this case, giving you 24, but for odd numbers, you always subtract one from the final number, in this case, giving you 23, and then their card will always be 23 from the top uh, for seven, all right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three. It's very simple, just basic uh, addition and subtraction math. 
uh, that you can do on the fly, but uh, a couple of practice rounds, maybe pra practicing with this uh, routine and doing the math on the spot in your head uh, for a week or so will get you uh, prepared for performing this effect. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun to do. Uh, very uh, unique trick. And uh, I think the presentation of memorizing the deck um, just ju justifies uh, what you're doing and the first time they say six, boom, 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 there's the three of hearts. What was your card? Boom, 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 22. Nailed it. And I think that's pretty good. All right, guys. So as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means the world to me. And if you learned something new, if you got value from this video, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button and sub to the channel. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.